Hi, my name is Eric Worrell and um, in the one image you will see what my basement looked like in October of 2013. It was disgusting. It had mildew and black mold. And then as of making this video in September of 2014, 11 months later, you'll see the same basement wall, um, which is now white and looking much better. I did this project by myself and the purpose of this video is to show you the steps that I took, um, expectations as far as um, what you might be spending, and then also just maybe a few tips here and along the way. Um, and biggest thing of all, if your basement looked like mine did, um, make sure you're taking all the necessary precautions if you're looking at tackling this problem yourself. You don't want to get sick. Black mold is a serious thing, so make sure you take all the precautions. So uh, with no further ado, let's get to the video. You can see in the video that um, right now I'm picking off brittle pieces of the wall. Um, over the years, the wall has become very brittle and first steps that I took was to clean up the wall um, of loose debris. So the first things you need is definitely a respirator. This stuff is not healthy to be around. Make sure your basement's closed off. Don't have your furnace running or anything like that that's going to circulate air through your house. Um, and then have long sleeves, uh, pants on, stuff that you can throw out. I just threw out the entire um, outfit that I wore while I was doing this. I bought a six foot wire brush that you can see in the image above. Um, I used that instead of um, like a handheld one because I just wanted a little more distance between myself and the wall since this is like nasty stuff I was taking off the wall. Uh, I just really scrubbed the heck out of the wall and everything that fell down. I just, um, I, I took out all the loose pieces. I didn't care if I was losing pieces of the wall. I just wanted to get rid of the stuff that was brittle and nasty. Um, and it probably took me about like three, four hours to uh, do all of that. After doing some research, um, I bought the three items above. Um, on the left, you'll see it's called a uh, Jomax. It's um, a house cleaner and mildew killer. Uh, in the middle is a, a kind of like a weed or paint sprayer you might see. Uh, one of those things you just kind of pump. And then on the right is just uh, some outdoor bleach. I got all these at Home Depot. Um, you also see uh, I put the total price up between the three of them, what it will cost. Uh, pretty much you just mix it together. Uh, it's like a little bit of the Jomax, a little bit of bleach and a lot of water. The directions are on the back of the Jomax um, for how much uh, you should mix with that. I filled up this sprayer. What I did is I filled it up once with hot water. I went through after I brushed all the loose debris off the walls and cleaned up the floors. I just soaked the walls with this bleach mildew killer. Um, let it sit on a Friday, gave it a couple days once it was dry down there and then went back down again and uh, soaked the walls again. So I did it twice. And just the smell that my basement used to smell like when I had the mold and then versus the bleach, it was like incredible walking down there. I mean, it kind of hit you in the face, but it was so nice to just get rid of that smell. This is where the project starts to get a little bit more expensive. Um, as you can see, I used the uh, Drylock Masonry Waterproofer and it's about 183 bucks for five gallons of it. I believe it covers about 500 square feet of the wall. So depending on your project, you might need more than one of these. Application, I decided to use a brush after trying to use the sprayer actually that you saw previously. Um, this paint's way too thick to try to use a sprayer like that. Um, it gunked it up and actually ruined it. Um, so I'd recommend using a five inch brush like this one. Uh, this is actually what uh, Home Depot recommended when you purchase this product too. Uh, use a bigger brush if you're gonna hand do it. Um, the stone walls especially are very uneven and it's hard, you can't do it with a roller. So it's gonna take a while and your hand's gonna hurt, but it'll be worth it in the end. So I'll show you some of the pictures now. As you can see, here are four different images of the um, walls in my basement now, 11 months later. Uh, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, it's held up very well. The amount of debris, I don't have the debris crumbling randomly in my basement that I used to have, and the smell is still gone. It's just, I, I don't feel gross being in the basement. I also uh, put in some automatic uh, light sensors down there, which I had before actually I did this project, and it's so much brighter down there now too because uh, the white walls are reflecting the light better, so that's kind of nice too. Um, if you take a look at this one image, you do notice that there is a slight discoloration coming through. Um, it, it's a house from 1926. I mean, it's still letting in a little bit of water and it's not gonna be perfect. Um, I would love it if it, I didn't see this just little bit of discoloration in the walls. But overall, I went from a very disgusting, dirty, moldy basement to a clean, white, bright basement, and it took me about a week. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy in that regards. And here's the uh, total cost breakdown. Um, this is based on a one five gallon uh, bucket of dry lock uh, at $183. 
So the total comes to about $300 and that'll cover 500 square feet of wall. Um, if you figure out where your square footage is, if you're looking at a thousand, add another 200 bucks, you're looking at $500. If you're looking at 1500 square feet, you're looking at $700. Uh, these prices don't include tax either, so keep that in mind. But I just wanted to give you a rough estimate of what you might be looking at um, for cost of this. I already had some um, old clothes that I just threw out after I was done, I even threw out some old shoes that I wore for this. Again, be safe when you're doing this. I don't risk your health. Make sure you're taking all the necessary precautions. And if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, please leave them below in the comments. I like to uh, answer them when I have time and uh, I like hearing feedback. And sometimes people just know more about this stuff than I do because I'm just an average dude just trying to fix his house up. So I appreciate any comments or questions or even if you want to just like it or share the video, it's always appreciated. So I hope your project goes well and I hope you enjoy the results as much as I have because trust me, you're going to love the clean smelling basement more than anything. All right, take care and good luck.